What is up guys and gals, it's me Thomas Fan on one here and today we are back at it again with another Transformer figure review and today we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 86 number 26 Leader Class Dinobot Swoop Oh, it is time, it is time, it is time It is time for the final Dinobot Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the final Dinobot of the entire collection. But you all know the rules. We don't take a look at the figure first. We take a look at the packaging. And the packaging, oh dear lord, ladies and gentlemen, it is wonderful. It is just absolutely freaking wonderful. It is one of those things where I just cannot say enough positive things about this box. Like, look at this box. Look at the front of the box art. Only thing I'm not a fan of, and y'all know I have a particular disdain, is this. Right here. I can put my entire fist right into the box. But, anyways... To continue on with the looking of the box, we've got the front image there, which is just beautiful. I do love this whole this image. This image is beautiful. And on the side here, you got Swoop on the side. And on the back here, you've got your product details and everything of the nature. And on the back here, yes, he does come with two swords, but we shall talk about those swords here in just a minute. And it says Swoop and the Dinobots drop in to destroy Devastator. This is a tease right now because they are going to be releasing a com an actual studio series 86 combiner devastator for you and your collection to which i will be getting as many as i possibly can on this side you got that same image from the front there and on the front you got this on the top you've got studio series or transformers the movie or the transformers the movie and on the bottom you've got barcodes and words so anywho we are going to remove the box here and we are going to bring in this beautiful figure right here. And what a figure we have. This figure is one of, if not, it was, it was and still remained on top of my list until I just met, until one day, this one magical, fateful day, I was roaming around my local Target and they had just put this guy out and there was this guy and two studio series 86 uh springers but we've already got siege springer so we don't need this one so we don't need that one but point is is look at this this is just gorgeous this 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 oh they they wanted to replicate the entire g1 toy i think they done knocked it out of the park in terms of which one I like the best, I gotta say I think I like this one the best. So, but anyways, so we're going to take a look at the accessories really quickly. And the two accessories that he comes with, I mean, yes, the missile pieces, but these are more for like actual robot mode. So don't worry about that. That's just for the actual robot mode. These are the swords. Um, this one is actually Swoop's sword. So. This one is the one that we're actually going to be displaying him with. So you're going to just take that and it just pegs right on. Hang on, we're not going to plug it into that one. We'll plug it into this one. Plugs right on into this port here. Now, this sword you might recognize as Grimlock's sword. Hold on here. This one just does not want to stay put. But I also want, I also need this thing to stand. So, yeah, this is Grimlock's sword from you know, because we didn't get a sword for Grimlock, as is evidence of his box sitting in front of us, and because we have all of them, we actually have the Grimlock himself. So, basically, in order for you to put, put this into, onto, you can just plug it right on into his hand, like so, and just do that. But, that's not what you bought this for. If, or uh, or you'll notice there correction that's there is another thing that you can do with this you bought there is another peg on the back here and i have found that it juts out just enough to peg into this nice little port on the back of grimlock here so you can just plug that right on in and there you have the sword and there you have grimlock with his sword and his gun so now that you've got that one taken care of we can get back on into swoop to which, that being said, we shall get into scale comparisons with all of his Dinobot brethren. 
So, like I said previously, here he is with Grimlock. Here he is with Slug. Here he is with Sludge. And here he is with Snarl. And we will zoom out and do a full family photo at the end here. I promise y'all. I promise we will. So Ugh. Now that we've done all of that, we shall remove his sword from him here. And we shall get him into robot mode. Now, transformation with this guy is much more easier than the others. Uh, there is one thing that I could not figure out if I'm doing something wrong or if there is something mistransformed, but I can't get the chest to completely tab in together, like at all. So there is a little bit of a gap here. I don't know why there's a massive gap here, but I just can't, I can't get it to stay put. So anyways, so to continue, you're going to bring the head all the way back like so, and then you're going to take the wings, you're going to do untab them, there's a tab right here, there's a little slot right in there, and then you're going to just bring those all the way up like so, do the same thing on the other side, and then you're going to come to the back section here, you're going to untab these, you're going to bring these all the way forward, they're on a ratchet joint right here, do the same thing on the other side, make sure they, they kind of straighten up a little bit, and then you're going to flip out the feet and fold out the heel spur. Flip out the feet, fold out the heel spur. And then you're going to come to this front section. You're going to split it all the way down the middle. And then you're going to take this whole chest section right here. You're just going to bring it all the way. Oh, wait, you're going to flip this next neck piece forward. My bad. You're going to want to take this piece and flip it all the way forward. Then you're going to take this neck piece. You're going to bring it all the way down. You're going to tab it in, and you're going to take these pieces, and there are these circular pieces that are going to cover up these hinge joints in dino mode, and then you're just going to, it's going to solidify all of that, like so. So now that that is all solidified, at the very least, you can flip the head back, not that head, you can flip, this is where things get annoying, come on, come on, okay. So you're going to flip, unplug, okay, unplug that, I feel stupid, you're going to undo this, and then close it back up, and that's going to leave the head there, I, earlier I did this, and this wasn't clipped on enough, so I thought how you did it was you just push this down, and the instructions told me not to mess with this, so I didn't, <laughs> so anyway, you're going to straighten out the legs a little bit more, and you're going to take the arms, you're going to untab them, they are on, there's a tab piece here, and there is another tab that goes into the shoulder, and you're just going to flip these out, like so, and then while we're at it, we're going to flip the wing all the way back, and there's a tab, and there's a port right here on the back of the wing, just going to take that, marry the two halves together, like so, and then you're going to make sure all of this stays put, if it will stay put, there we go. So fold this wing all the way back, like so. If I can keep it, to, if it will, if it will tab in. This one has an. My copy has an issue with this wing tabbing in. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know why it's not going into its slot. There we go. But anyways, I'm going to undo this. Undo this one more time. Make sure that that arm is completely unpegged from both of the tabs spots make sure all of this stays <sighs> come on you want to make sure the wings are angled slightly back so that the arms don't get in the way and then we're going to bring in the sword we are going to then put it in his hands like so and there you have dino bot swoop in his robot mode and oh my word, why on earth were you sitting on this guy, Hasbro? This thing is beautiful. I'm a little miffed you guys didn't release this guy in the first line. Like the first wave of Studio Series 86. I can't believe you guys just sat on this design. 
So, anywho, um, I do like this figure. I definitely like the head sculpt, that's for sure. So, you know, I mean, things definitely could be worse with this guy. So, anywho. So let's get him into some scale comparisons. We'll get into my final thoughts on this guy. Then we will get into the ranking of this guy. And then we will get into the ranking of the entire Dinobot set. As this is the finale of the Dinobots on a technical note. So, um, well, I gotta say, my final thoughts on this guy are... Actually, let's get into scale comparison, as I said first. Sorry about that. I apologize, folks. But here he is with... Grimlock... Here he is next to Slug. Here he is next to Snarl. And here he is next to Sludge. I should have done them in reverse. All right, so let's get into the ranking of this guy, then we'll get into the ranking of the entire Dinobot set. Well, my final thoughts on this guy are, well, I definitely do like this. I'm not I'm not upset that they released this. I'm just upset that they waited so stinking long to release it. Uh, like, for example, I wish they would have released this maybe back in, I don't know, a year ago with... I really think they personally should have just done an entire Dinobot set completely in the first go, and then they had kept, and they had done this design and they, all the other designs that we've gotten currently for the Dinobots. I just wish they released them a long time ago. However, I must say that I'm glad that they released them all now, and that now that I have all of them, I am I'm very happy with this set. So. Um, where do I rank Swoop? Um, his transformation was pretty seamless. It was pretty easy. Um, the only thing I don't like is the gappy chest in pterodactyl mode. Very much a pain in the butt. Um, and also when you get him into robot mode, you have to angle the wings back because if you don't, that the arms right or the shoulder pieces will get caught on the tab joints that are inside the wings. But other than that, I gotta say, not a bad figure at all. Um, those two issues aside, I gotta say, it's looking at scoring a good 9.2. I say 9.2 just because of the two issues that we had. The reason where it makes up for those issued out points is the fact that it came with the extra accessory for Grimlock. To which, we shall now get into the ranking of the entire Dinobot set. So there we've got Swoop. There we've got Snarl. We've got... Sludge goes over here, and then Slug goes right there, and then to round everything off, we've got just a Grim Grimlock miss right there. We'll get everybody in for the family photo. Sorry, we want to make sure we get everybody in here. I do believe you've got to go in the front though, because you're smaller. But anyways, point is. Is now that we have all of the Dinobots here, this entire set here is quite nice. Um, okay, so we ranked these Dinobots fairly decently. Um, I don't think we ranked Grimlock, and I don't think we ranked Slug. I do believe we ranked Sludge, but I don't think we ranked Grimlock and Slug. So if we're going to rank both of them... I have to give them both, like, the first, I have to give Grimlock, Grimlock's a complete 9.5 out of 10. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the, uh, there's, th these things here, they, mine have a tendency to, um, well, okay, maybe not have a tendency to, but, um, there, there was a point where these were going to pop off, and they did not, but apparently they were going to. Um, and I also do not like the fact that it came with a wheelie, only a wheelie, as an extra accessory. Yeah, let's give us an extra figure that we don't need, that we've already got, that we're going to already release in Studio Series 86 anyway. So, but yeah, I would have to say this, this guy's looking at a 9.5, this guy scores a 9, uh, simply because there's a section in the dino, bot that I, dino, bro, dino mode that I cannot get to tab together entirely. So... But, if I have to rank the entire set, the set gets a good 8.5 to 9 out of 10. 
And I say eight and a half to nine out of ten because all of these figures are scored nine nine or above and or eight or above. And I just can't see this entire set selling for less than five hundred dollars. I just can't. I mean, granted, you only paid two hundred and fifty for it, but for I paid two hundred and fifty for all of my Dinobots total. Actually, I'm going to be honest, I didn't even pay 200, 250 I paid $200 because I got that guy for free. But the point is, is that this set is worth it only if you really, really are into your collecting. So if you really are into it, I highly suggest you pick all of these guys up and I highly suggest that you pick up, you know, a Studio Series 86 Wheelie. I don't particularly say you should say you get this guy because this guy is just not the best but all things considered i think this this entire dinobot set gets a nine out of ten. Nine, nine out of ten so anyhow this is the ranking for the entire dinobot set of the studio series 86 line and this is thomas fennel one saying do not forget to check out Jordy's Rail Videos, Patrick with the Y, I Star Five Five Two, Bravely GG, Take Along Productions, Jordy's Rail, or uh, not Jordy's Rail Videos. We already said Jordy's Rail Videos. Still do subscribe to him, but um, Riveted Reviews, Riveted Rail Fan, The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, and New York Toy Hunter, as they all have done some amazing work, have helped me out in the past and will continue to do so in the future. So, anyhow, this is Thomas Final One saying, do not forget to keep playing with your toys. Don't forget.